All right, let's use some um, spherical coordinates to do one of these problems. So we've got a, um, a, a sphere. The sphere is radius 2. It's centered at the point 2, 0, 0. And we want to find the volume of this thing in the first octave. All right, so we're going to set it up. Um, so this is our our hyperfunction that we got our XYZ and these these points are where we're located and we're sending these points to another you know wherever this sends them to and we're finding that instead of a volume this should be a hyper volume so let's set it up just to just to practice setting it up with spherical coordinates alright so the first thing we need to do is figure out you know what points we're dealing with what regions we're dealing with what they look like in spherical coordinates so the first octant means everything's positive, so we're going, you know, radius is 2, so we're going from 2 up to 4 and 2 down to 0 on the x-axis. That's the center there. And in the y, we're starting at 0, we're going up to 2, because it's first octant positive 2. And then the z, obviously, going from 0 to 2 as well. So we got this little, um, it's half a semisphere, half a hemisphere, I guess you could say, uh, in the first octant. All right, and so as we said, this is a, a sphere centered to zero zero. So we're going to um, foil this out. So if I foil this out, I would have an x squared, all right, a minus four x, and a plus four. All right. And notice because there's this extra, there's this four here and a four over here on this side. I could cancel those out, and they would become a zero on the right hand side I'd have an x squared a y squared a z squared and a minus 4x equal to zero okay now what is x squared plus y squared plus z squared x squared plus y squared plus z squared is rho squared so we're going to replace that in the equation x squared plus y squared is z squared we're going to replace with rho squared and then the minus 4x well x is equal to rho sine phi cosine phi, uh, theta so minus 4 times all of this will be what we replace in the uh, for x in the equation. So this all becomes rho squared and the x becomes rho sine phi cosine theta. Okay, now both of these have a rho in them, so if I factor out a rho, I'll have uh, rho times rho to the first minus four, it won't be a rho, sine phi cosine theta, and there'll be two solutions to that. I could have rho is equal to zero, which will throw that away. Or I could have rho equals four sine phi cosine theta. And that is now what this um, equation looks like in polar form. All right, so what does that mean? What are, what are we going to use that for? So that's our value for rho. So now we know what rho is is extending between. Rho is going from 0, which would mean that, you know, right here, and then the highest rho gets um, is this. So we're extending from 0 up to 4 sine phi, you know, cosine theta. Okay, so that's, that's our distance, that's our maximum rho, but it's also, it occurs with a combination of rho and, and, and theta, it occurs out here somewhere, is the maximum that we, um, the maximum that rho has to be to hit this. Now, I'm drawing it right up on the z-axis because that's what rho is. It's it's uh, initially from here up to here on the z-axis. But our angles, well, what angles are we covering? Well, uh, phi comes off the z-axis. And we have to be able to cover the first octant. So that's when x is positive, y is positive, and z is positive. So that means that phi has to be able to rotate down to the uh, xy plane. So phi is going from 0 to pi over 2 down here when it's down on the xy plane or on the x-axis. And then since we also have to have uh, theta, uh, we have to come have a bounce for theta, and we're going from the positive x-axis to the positive y-axis, so theta is going from here to here. It's also 0 to pi over 2. 
is the angles for that for uh, theta that cuts this out. So this we had to get get this to get our value for rho. We had to switch this thing into a um, into a spherical equation rather than a rectangular equation or Cartesian equation. But then they, remember the other two are angles, and we need the first octant. So that's 0 to pi over 2, 0 to pi over 2 for uh, phi is, uh, for theta as well. So I'm going to write this as 0 to pi over 2, 0 to pi over 2 for my two angles. And then rho is going from 0 to 4 sine phi cosine theta. And then we have our function, this f of x, y, z, which we will change to rho, phi, and theta. Oops, phi and theta. And then don't forget, this is the really important part. We have to hit it with the rho squared sine phi. All right, which again, that's like rho and r. d rho, d phi, d theta. Okay, so don't forget this part. If you do all the work to switch it to um, spherical coordinates, and then you don't, and you leave that part off, you, you're not going to get it right. So don't forget rho squared sine phi. That's what we have to do if we switch from rectangular to spherical.